Construction on the city's light rail transit project is now underway. The bad news, it means some major traffic headaches in the meantime. Here's a picture of what it looks like on Highway 174 approaching the split. It was tweeted by our CTV colleague reporter John Hua. Lane reductions are now in place between the Blair Road on-ramp and the split for LRT construction. The city is encouraging you to leave the car at home and take the bus. OC Transpo has increased bus service from the Trim, Park, Trim Road Park and Ride Station to downtown. The closure will be in effect until August. And traffic is moving again along Woodruff Avenue at the 417 overpass after it was closed for several hours while police investigated a fatal crash. Firefighters were called in to rescue two people trapped in the front seat of one of the cars after a two-vehicle collision yesterday at 630. A man in his 60s was pronounced dead at the scene. His female passenger, also in her 60s, was taken to hospital with chest, abdominal and hand injuries. What I've heard is a black BMW was racing up here, lost control, hit the curb and uh, jumped the curb and then T-boned a, a Hyundai and uh, then I came up shortly up after that and saw there's a tarp apparently covering up someone that's deceased. Police continue to investigate and say it's too early to determine whether any charges will be laid. The victim's identity has not yet been released. Ottawa police are asking for your help this morning locating a missing man. Terence Lisher was last seen at 8.30 Sunday night in the area of Bell's Corners. He is described as 31 years old, a white man standing 5 foot 10, about 200 pounds, with short brown hair. Lisher was wearing blue jeans and a blue American Eagle sweater. He was driving a 2010 gray Mazda 3 with the Ontario license plate BMBX794. Toronto Mayor Rob Ford and his brother Doug lashed out at the media once again during their return to the airwaves Sunday afternoon. 80% of them are, are nasty son of a guns. Bunch of maggots. Sorry, so, I shouldn't have, maybe I shouldn't have said that. But anyway. It's been over a week since drug allegations against the mayor emerged. Ford said reports that he smoked crack cocaine are false and ridiculous. He denounced to the media as, quote, maggots for the way it has reported the allegations. And despite the scandal swirling around him, Ford told listeners he's looking forward to campaigning for re-election next year. Reporters from the Toronto Star and gossip website Gawker claim they viewed a cell phone video that appears to show the mayor smoking crack cocaine. The first trial of a Toronto police officer criminally charged after G20 protests back in 2010 starts today. Constable Glenn Waddell is charged with assault with a weapon and assault causing bodily harm. Dorian Barton says his arm was broken by officers who arrested him during a G20 protest nearly three years ago. Another officer is set to go on trial next week on two counts of assault with a weapon. And Prime Minister Stephen Harper will face questions over the Senate scandal in question period for the first time later today. The Tories will be on their heels after a former RCMP commissioner expressed concerns about the government's influence over the Mounties. Gary Clement told CTV's question period that for the past two years, the RCMP had to clear all communications through the Public Safety Minister's office. And he fears that could impact the objectivity of the current Senate expense investigation.